Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Herring and I am definitely not an expert in sports betting or even boxing for that matter. But even I, over the course of the last few months, have taken notice that there's a big fight going on on Saturday in Las Vegas, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. Now this has caused quite a stir in the betting community as the odds have shifted back and forth and of course Conor McGregor appears to be quite a fan favorite. Now, Max Silver recently tweeted out, I've never sports bet. Any reason to not put as much as I can on Mayweather, except for my Irish card being revoked. This tweet instigated a lot of reaction from the poker community as well as the business community on Twitter as to a few things that we should consider when looking at whether or not to bet on this fight. For starters, there's just the obvious. Mayweather has never lost a fight. He's 49 and 0, whereas Conor McGregor is 21 and 3. And of course, Conor McGregor has actually never had a boxing fight in his life. He's a very accomplished mixed martial artist, but boxing, some say, is a slightly different game. When the fight was first announced, the odds were roughly 11 to 1 in favor of Mayweather. And as the months have gone on, this love, this heart, this lion, this Conor McGregor, his fans appear to really love him. Either that or maybe they were making bets because the odds were so crazy. I mean, what if, right? But now we went from 11 to 1 to something like 5 to 1. People think, okay, this must be a good bet, right? Well, let's take a look at Twitter and see what some of the betting men in our poker world had to say. The always pragmatic Jonathan Little said to Max Silver, you're essentially betting if the fight is rigged slash they want three more fights instead of one, good luck. And of course the mental coach Elliot Rowe responded so true. Bill Perkins echoes this sentiment and says the fix followed by Steve says depends on who Mayweather bets on. The conversation goes on and on and there's a lot of dialogue about whether or not someone might say throw a fight or whether the fight is fixed and if they're looking to have more fights. But on the flip side of the argument, a lot of people say Floyd Mayweather has more money than anyone and that he probably wouldn't risk his reputation or his ego for some more money. Now I don't know, I don't know Floyd Mayweather, but I definitely think the whole world will be watching on Saturday. One thing is for sure, both of these fighters are going to come out with a pretty hefty payday. It hasn't been clear exactly how it's going to be broken down, it's confidential, but on his last fight, Floyd Mayweather made more than $400 million in pay-per-view versus Manny Pacquiao, and there's still all this money to be made on the side on betting. One thing though, the question is, what about these sports books? The Associated Press recently released an article which said that bookies will lose millions if McGregor knocks out Mayweather, and moreover, they'll lose even more if he does it within the first four rounds. And finally, there's an additional element of variance that people are wondering about because the gentlemen have decided to use eight ounce gloves. Apparently, generally speaking, in fights where the men are of this weight class, they would be using 10 ounce gloves, which makes it less likely for someone to be knocked out or knocked out fast. They've decided to go with the eight ounce gloves, although this isn't the first time this has ever happened. In fact, one of the most famous fights ever in boxing history, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, the Thrilla in Manila, they also used eight ounce gloves but many people think this actually might give Conor McGregor an advantage. I don't know, it's all yet to be seen, but I do know one thing, I'm a betting woman, and if the odds stay the way that they are, I think I'm gonna put a little money on the Mayweather. Either way, it's gonna be a super exciting fight and super entertaining. I know the poker community will be glued, and while we're here at the Poker Stars Championship in Barcelona, they're going to be having a little venue where you guys can check out the fight and watch it. It will be the wee morning hours for us here on this side of the globe, but I imagine it'll be packed. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're on pokernews.com.